CEO and Chairman of Japan Development Institute, Dr. Soichi Kobayashi, and his team are in Papua New Guinea after being invited to help support the government's effort in establishing special economic zones. Minister for International Trade and Investment, Richard Maru, hosted the dinner. Maru added that Philippines is leading in all of Asia in annual growth average of 6% per annum, driven by special economic zone. He said China, Malaysia, and Indonesia have the same experience. The world has moved on. They are giving incentives. They are giving special economic zones all over the world, and they are attracting investors. PNG has to compete with the rest of the world for capital and investment. We can't sit still. We must follow the trend that's evolving all over the world, and the whole world is going to special economic zones. So we are offering incentives for foreign investors to come and invest in our country. Meanwhile, the JDI CEO said his experience in working with the special economic zones goes back 45 years, with 40 years in the Japanese special economic zone. He added that many studies on CPAC and special economic zone were not implemented because it needs all essentials like power infrastructure to be functioning together. So I was wondering why it doesn't work. And I see that the problem of special economic zone is it's orchestrated necessary, orchestrated the team headed by prime minister or president. Their political commitment is essential part of the success. Without this, forget it. That SEZ acquires every single agency of the government to participate in order for it to be functional. Frida Kana, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.